So one of the things I think I've learned over the years of being and working on boats is that it's just the small details that um, makes the difference between like a really nice boat and you know something that's really different and spectacular and um, it's yeah like most things it's the finer details and for the last year our flag halyard on spirit which is just a very minor thing but it's been a bit of old worn out VB cord and um, both different sizes and they looked pretty tatty and pretty ordinary so I've been thinking of what I could do to make them look a little bit nicer so last week I came up with the idea of creating some nice flag halyards out of two millimeter Dyneema. So I'm going to put some shot cord on them so, so they're always under load, under tension and we've got some little friction rings here because that's where they'll go around so to pull them up and down they'll uh, these will work like a little block and then this end here will go around the cleat and, uh, and it'll put them under some tension when the flag's up so the love of the flag will always be nice and tight first step done I've spliced the two mil done a little bremel splice right, I've done my eye a little eye here that's where the diamond knot will go through I do bremels not because we need to but just because they look really good and I've doubled it up there <coughs> so when it bends around and the diamond knot goes through the loop I'll have a nice thick bit of Dyneema to wear on. Now, just for the diamond knot. Alright, now we've got our diamond knot, we've just got to cinch it up. And uh, cut the ends, make it nice and tidy, and then I'll show you how this is, <coughs> how this is going to work. The flag halyard virtually runs like this. Runs from near the gooseneck where the boom attaches to the mast and then it runs up through a pulley or a small block just on the base of the first spreader and then it runs back and it normally has it's normally just two ends of rope and you tie a bowline to each end and then you fix a flag halyard to a small cleat at the bottom <coughs> and you tension it like that but what we're doing is we've used uh, shock cord at the bottom and a really small friction ring which will tension it and it'll keep the luff this the luff of the flag how you under tension and the way you attach it is instead of tying bowlines or instead of having little metal clips here so say we're putting it through the base of this boxing kangaroo flag here you just put your knot through the loop put it back through the loop and then when that comes under tension the uh, the diamond knot won't pull back through the loop not all flags have got these nice loops some have got like this flag does little round thimbles so when you've got a flag like this you just double up your Dyneema push it through and then you just put the diamond knot through that loop there and then it fixes like that when you want to undo it just loosen the loop pull it through undone and then when your flag how is not in use Instead of tying bowlines in the end to attach it, you just get your two diamond knots. As long as you've made both ends the same, with your loops at the same point, and your diamond knots at the same point, you just put your diamond knot through the loop, pull it, it'll stay attached. Flag. And here we have the world's best flag halyard. You can see it's made of 2 mil Dyneema. We have a lovely friction ring and a little bit of shock cord here which keeps the luff of the flag under tension. 
We don't like stainless steel fittings. We don't like little clips or anything. So we've made a couple of little rope loops, which I explained earlier in the video. Just to put a little bit more tension on that. That's why we have the uh, strap, because obviously when you put a, um, a flag up, the flag how you gets longer. And then hoist your flag. We've been using this now for a couple of weeks. I made this a few weeks ago and uh, yeah, it's been working perfectly.